LCISD Science Grade 8, Unit 10 and 11, Lot Years and Theories and Characteristics of the Universe, 2016-2017. Use the following graph for the next three questions. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Earth after the Sun. Proxima Centauri is approximately 4.3 light years away. Sun, Earth, 4.3 light years, Proxima Centauri. Question number one. How long would it take light from Proxima Centauri to reach the Earth? One year, B, 4.3 years, C, 43 years, D, 10 trillion years. Question two. If a light year is approximately 10 trillion kilometers, how far is Proxima Centauri from the Earth? There's your answer choices. Three, using current data, what will happen to the universe? A, the universe will expand forever. B, the universe will stop and stay a constant size. C, the universe will shrink back down to a single point. D, no definite, definitive conclusion has been made. Number four, which of the following does not support the theory of the Big Bang? Find the false statement. F, scientists have found background radiation throughout the universe. G, scientists have found that the greater the distance of the galaxy, the greater the red shift of the galaxy. H. Scientists have not found a star older than the approximate age of the universe. J. They all support the Big Bang Theory. Use the graphic to answer the following two questions. Right here is the rank in brightness from 1 to 6. Here's the star name. Sirius, Canopus, Arcturus, Alpha, Centauri A, Vega, Regal. Light years from Earth here, and apparent magnitude here. Apparent magnitude is a measure of how bright a star is when seen from Earth. The stars listed in the table appear bright because they either produce a lot of light or are close to Earth. Number five. What is the relationship between apparent magnitude and distance from Earth? A. The closer a star is to Earth, the higher its measure of apparent magnitude. B. The closer a star is to Earth, the lower its measure of apparent magnitude. C. There is a predictable trend in the relationship of apparent magnitude and distances from Earth. D. There is no relationship between distance from Earth and apparent magnitude. Six, the table below shows the distances of three stars from the sun. Students were asked to make a model of the three stars and include the sun and earth in the model. They choose to use a scale of one meter to one light year. So here's your star, XYZ, and here's your distance from the sun in light years. Which model best represents the data? So your first one is F, Z, Y, X, here's the Earth and the Sun, G, Z, Y, X, the Earth and the Sun, H, changing the distance of this line each time. So check this, this, and then check your Earth and Sun placement. And finally, J, Z, Y, X, again, 10.8 meters and Earth and Sun. Use the following diagram for the next four questions. The Hertzsprung Russell diagram. You have luminosity, solar units, and you have increasing surface temperature and kelvins. So remember, it's cooler here, hotter here, brighter here, not as bright down here. 
according to the diagram, which of the, these types of stars has the greatest luminosity? Okay. Greatest luminosity is going to be up here. A hot white dwarf. B. Hot main sequence star. C. Super cool giant. D. Cool giant. Number eight. As a medium-sized star uses up its hydrogen supply, it changes from a main sequence star to a F. Black hole. G. Blue giant. H. Red giant. J. Red dwarf. Stars form inside giant clouds of dust, of gas and dust. What are these giant clouds of gas and dust called? A. Black hole. B. Quasar. C. Supernova. D. Nebula. 10. Our Sun is one of the many stars that has been classified as average. Its absolute magnitude and its temperature place it in the middle of the blank area of the HR diagram. F. Main Sequence G. White Dwarf H. Red Giant J. Supergiant 11. How much longer would it take to travel on a spaceship to Bernard's star as compared to our sun? Here's the star and here's the distance from the earth in light years. Sun, Alpha Centauri A, Bernard's star, Sirius, and Betelgeuse. Here's your answers. 12. What type of galaxy is the Milky Way? F. Elliptical G. Irregular H. Mag Magellanic J. Spiral 13. Where in the Milky Way is the Earth found? A. Our Sun is in the middle of the galaxy B. About one light year from the middle of the galaxy C. Varies depending on where it is in orbit around the Sun and D, near the outer edge of the galaxy. Number 14. The Andromeda galaxy is moving toward the Milky Way, and light being emitted from it has a blue shift. What property of the light has changed to allow it to have a blue shift? F, the speed of light. G, the amplitude of the light. H, the frequency of the light. J, the wave height. Of the light. 15. Astronomers have noticed that class 1a supernovas in distant galaxies have a greater red shift than those in galaxies closer to the Earth. What do the astronomers theorize about why this is occurring? A. Distant galaxies have weaker explosions than galaxies that are nearby. B. Distant galaxies have a more powerful explosions than galaxies that are nearby. C. Distant galaxies are moving away from the Earth faster than galaxies that are nearby. D. Distant galaxies are moving toward the Earth faster than galaxies that are nearby. 16. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, even though it is roughly 640 light years from Earth. Bernard's star, on the other hand, is relatively close, but is not visible to the unaided eye. Which of the following is a correct explanation for this? F. The two stars have different colors. G. The two stars have different surface temperatures. H. The two stars are different absolute luminosities. J. Betelgeuse's orbit brings it closer to Earth. 17. Microwaves and visible light are both forms of electromagnetic waves. Light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. Microwaves have a wavelength that is about 1,000 times stronger than visible light. How fast do microwaves travel? There's your answers. 18. Four students are asked to describe a nebula and a star. Their responses are shown in the table below. Here's the students, one through four. <clears throat> the descriptions of the nebula and the descriptions of a star. Student 1. A collection of hot gases that sometimes produce light from nuclear reactions. Description. A 
a sphere of dust and gas that contains many elements and produces light from fusion and fission reactions. Student 2, a collection of hot gases that results from stars that have exploded. Description, a collection of gases from several nebula hot enough to cause a nuclear reaction. Student 3, a collection of dust and gases that form stars or results from dying stars. Description, a sphere of matter with a density and a temperature great enough to cause a nuclear reaction at its center. Student 4, a collection of dust and gases that is found near stars. And description, a collection of hot gases that forms a sphere but produces no light. Which student describes these two celestial bodies correctly? There's your answer choices. 19. A Hertzsprung Russell diagram is shown below. This is the luminosity. Remember, it gets brighter here. And the spectral class. Based on this diagram, what type of stars would belong to spectral class M and have the highest luminosity? A. Main sequence stars. B. Giants. C. White dwarfs. D. Supergiants. 20. Two stars are identified on the Hertzsprung Russell diagram below. This is temperature in Kelvin, luminosity, spectral class. Based on this diagram, how do the characteristics of star 1 and star 2 compare? Star 1 is cooler and less bright than star 2. Star 1 is hotter and brighter than star 2. Star 1 is cooler and brighter than star 2. Star 1 is hotter and less bright than star 2. 21. The Milky Way galaxy is described as a disk of stars orbiting a central point on the disk. Which of these best explains why people on Earth cannot see the entire shape of the Milky Way? A. Earth is part of this galaxy. B. Many more stars exist outside the galaxy. C. The stars in the center of the galaxy are extremely small. D. The center of the galaxy consists of a dense cluster of stars. 22. Why does Earth get more energy from the Sun than from all the other stars in the universe combined? F. The Sun is much larger than the other stars. G. The Sun is much hotter than the other stars. H. The Sun is much more dense than the other stars. J. The Sun is much closer than the other stars. 23. Quasars are extremely distant celestial bodies. Investigators using a special telescope determined that a certain quasar was emitting waves with a frequency of 1.41 times 10 to the 9 hertz. An electromagnetic spectrum is shown. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. This is the frequency. The investigators Investigators were most likely using a telescope that detects microwaves, visible light, x-rays, and gamma rays. Use diagrams to identify the galaxies for 24 through 26. 24. What type of galaxy is 24? Spiral, elliptical, irregular. What type of gallery is 25? A. Spiral, B. Elliptical, C. Irregular. And 26. What type of galaxy is number 26? Spiral, elliptical, irregular. 27. The Hertzsprung Russell diagram below shows how the brightness, surface temperature, and color of stars are related. Here's the brightness, surface temperature, it's identifying Bernard star, red, orange, yellow, white, main sequence stars, blue, white dwarfs down here. Uh, super giants and red giants. Which of these observations of Bernard star is most likely accurate? A. Bernard star is less bright than the sun, has a surface temperature below 3,800 3, Kelvin, and is red. <coughs> B. Bernard star is less bright than the sun, has a surface temperature above 3,800 Kelvin, and is red. C. Bernard's star is brighter than the sun, has a surface temperature below 5300 Kelvin, and is yellow. Bernard's star is brighter than the sun, has a surface temperature above 5300 Kelvin, and is yellow. 28. 
Please ask your teacher to read this final question if you need help.